Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We're jumping in as my favourite character, Little Old Horror. And I'm going to be using the um, the old the old thingy gun a little more, the missing link. I've been told that I've been overestimating how much rad ammo it uses and therefore I should be taking the opportunity to use a lot more. Um, and so therefore I will I will try to do that. And play into that weapon a little bit more because I kind of, yeah, like I said, I, I've been underutilizing it. And I think it's one of those weapons I've been waiting too long to use it. And it kind of means it's less valuable. Um, shots create lightning, seeker shots. To be fair, I, I'm going to go with the supplies and leveling up to begin with. Because we, we all know it's so good. But yes, uh, for today's episode, for today's lovely episode... You may be wondering, hey turtle, do you sound a little under the weather maybe? Why yes, yes I do, and do you want to know why? It's because it's the day after New Year's, well, it's the first day of the year, um, day after New Year's Eve, and oh my god, did I get quite drunk. Um, so I'm, uh, I am, uh, as I would say, just a, a little bit hungover. <laughs> And I kind of realized I had this video to do, and I was like, nah, do you know what? I'll, I'll just leave it. It's whatever. The cardboard shotgun, really not a great weapon to get. Um, but I was like, do you know what? Nah, whatever. I'll just leave it. But then I realized I also didn't do a video over Christmas for Nuclear Throne. I didn't want to have... I didn't want you guys to feel like... Especially, I know there's a pretty dedicated group of people. Projectiles reflect. Let's try that out, yeah. Um... There's a pretty dedicated group of people that watch the Nuclear Throne series. Um, I guess hey, we get like a good 150 or so views each episode. So I don't, I don't want people to feel left out, and especially like I said, when I already didn't do Nuclear Throne over Christmas, which I, again I do apologise for. That was more just uh, I was prepping a lot of videos for when I went back to see my family, and I just didn't have time to fit in the Nuclear Throne ones as well. I did try to. Um, and I don't think anyone's going to be too heartbroken about one week of Miss Nuclear Throne, considering, like I said, it's back. But uh, yeah, ex this is exactly why I, I didn't want to go so many weeks without um, having Nuclear Throne. Because it's, it's got to the point now where it's a pretty flagship series of the channel. Like, I, I do sort of, like, in terms of my plans for this series in general, I do kind of plan on putting some other games in place of Nuclear Throne here and there, but... I don't want to ever see it completely disappear just because I think it's one of those things where I find it a, a very sort of chilled out game to play for myself, but also it's a good game for commentary and I feel like it's an underrepresented game within YouTube and I know, um, let's try this Sonic launcher out, um, this thing's kind of intriguing, um, I know like it does have some people that still play it, and it's like a pretty old game, so it's kind of understandable. But I do think the game doesn't have as much representation on YouTube as it should. Considering the amount of roguelikes and, uh, like, older roguelikes that are getting pretty regular YouTube content by various people, it's a little bit of a shame to see, uh, uh, um, I can't even speak. It's a little bit of a shame to see a game like Nuclear Throne be so underrepresented and especially the modding scene on this game as well like it would be it would be fantastic to see more people make modded content for this game because this game does have some very good modded content additional bounces let's go with that i'm waiting for like one more weapon mute and then i'm gonna start using it um but yeah i gotta say like the modding scene especially i feel like could definitely do with a bit more love i feel like not that many people know how high quality the modding scene is for this game, and that's a real shame. Having a very hard time killing this dude. Yeah, um, I, I really do feel like this this game has some of some of the better modded content out there, and it's it's all it's all like very um, seamless and vanilla feeling. It fits into the game's ecosystem and like weapon balance and everything really, really well. Um, like extremely well. I mean, the, even this weapon I'm using now, to me, it feels like it. It's a vanilla weapon from the vanilla game, and I, I know for a fact that it's not. But uh, it really does feel like it, and that might just be because I've been using the mods for a long time now, and they just kind of fit into what I 
sort of see as nuclear throwing, considering how long I've been playing modded. But I still also just think, ooh, what the hell is that? I still also just think it is a big part of the fact that the modding scene in this game is just very, very good. Um, auto Duster Shotgun. Ooh. An auto version of this as well is pretty intriguing. Wait, that assassin's not dead. No, that was close. That was close. Um, okay. Oh, my lord. But yeah, I gotta say, it's just, everything just fits in so well and seamlessly, and it just all feels so good. And, like, I wouldn't exactly say that's super rare. I think a lot of games that have pretty big modding scenes, um, have a pretty good representation of at least a subset of very vanilla-style feeling mods. But... Even some of them, like, like Binding of Isaac, don't really hit the nail on the head quite like this one does. Additional bounces, flaming shots, let's go with that. Yeah, let's start using this bad boy now. Ow. I think we need piercing on it now, don't we? Yeah, we, we need piercing on it now. But, this is a pretty good setup for this thing right now. Oh my god. I need to make sure I don't die. I swear, like, every time I get this gun out to use it, I automatically just start dying. Okay, that's good. I should kill him, there you go. Good stuff. All right, we got here the tinderbox. Oops, I got sucked in by accident. Yeah, we're, 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 nearing, we're nearing the point where this weapon's really good. Right now, it's just good. I think the, the pairings... Oh, God, that was close. The pairings of mutes we've got on it at the minute are pretty decent, but not the best. We could definitely do better. It's just nice that it's so usable. But yeah, you can see it actually doesn't use that much rad ammo at all, really. But yeah, the additional bounces doesn't really do much if we don't have any piercing on this thing. The Sonosis can Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That thing's amazing. <laughs> I'll definitely be taking that. I see you in there. There you go. Right. Through we go. See what we can get next. Um... Explosive projectiles. Sounds interesting. This thing's just getting crazier and crazier. Okay, quite a lot of ammo there. That's good. I don't know how good the explosive projectiles are here, but I feel like it's going to be pretty good for us. I'm liking the explosive plus fire plus bouncing. That's uh, quite a, a twisted pair. Good. But you can see I'm actually like st still gaining rads for the most part. Ow. Excuse me. Oh god. That was very close. I did not see that enemy for some reason. Oh my god. Thank god I had that hammerhead there. Whoa, there was a lot of explosions there, and I don't really know how that happened. Um, okay, I do think I do think one of the big problems right now is I'm hurting myself a lot with my own projectile. Um, I very nearly killed myself with it then. I think the explosive damage it's doing is not so good for my health. Bring your skits. This thing's incredible. I should be careful with it. It's kind of hard to use. Oh my god. Look at that car just bouncing around. Beautiful. Just insicles anything it touches. There we go. Get out of there. And you. And you. Pick up some ammo for it. Okay, that explosion actually killed you as well. Nice. Okay. Bit of ammo over there. But yeah, I'm going to say, 
pretty hungover at the minute, but this is a, a, a relatively chilled out game for me, so it's one of those games that I feel like I can kind of... Ooh, we got the, we got the, the rifle this time. That's the cannon. This is the rifle. Didn't mean to take the rifle there, but apparently we're taking it now. I just wanted to try it out, and I got sucked in. But to be fair, this thing's probably a little easier to use just because the ammo consumption is much less. Even if it can be a little bit tricky to aim correctly. Oh, uh, we got Big Mama Juju coming in now. I forgot about you. Oh, damn. That destroyed his foot incredibly quickly. Oh, my lord. Okay, I don't have enough uh, ammo left to continue with that thing. There you go, we got him. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I see you there, Mimic. I see you there, you cheeky bastard. You thought you'd try it with me. This thing just does so much damage as well. It just I think it's because it, like, passes over the enemy for such a long amount of time. Good. Hey, and then we got the buzzsaw. Try it out, shall we? I'm, I'm kind of up game for just taking whatever comes our way at this point. Um, all that glitters, seeker shots, additional bounces. Let's go with seeker shots, shall we? See how that goes. This thing could be interesting with this very limited ammo. I'm wondering... How functional it is. It doesn't seem that good. It's very fast firing, I suppose. Ooh, oh, IDPD grenade launcher is incredible. I most certainly want that. Just because I'm immune to the explosions from it. it makes me feel a lot safer. Good, good. We also got a golden laser sword here. Which I'm going to grab. Good, good. If that's an actual golden weapon, I'll be super happy. I don't think it will be. No, it's not. <laughs> the breaker cannon and the quartz launcher. That seems pretty cool. Oh, damn it, like, balls through enemies. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool weapon. Damn it, he pulled me there. Okay, that was, that, was a, that was a fun go of it, though. Missing Link is doing a good job. I wish I could have got that golden laser sword. I don't know what, what's the deal with fake golden weapons. I do wish there were a bit more regular available. What the hell? It was like the worst first stage I've ever seen. <laughs> it was so short. What the hell? It was like three enemies. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Just blame it on the boogie. That was a bit odd. Oh, God. That was a bit odd. But we push forward. Into that great night. Oh, yeah. I don't... I, I, like... I'm still, I, I like, I still, it's still interesting to hear from you guys about, like, your likes and dislikes of this series. I know that some people, like, I've heard in the past, pe like, some people's complaints with this series. Um, ooh. I'm going go with all the glitters. Uh, one, one thing sort of that I've, like, heard in the past is people don't like that I don't, <laughs> that I'm not good at it, essentially, and, like, would like to see me, like, do more loops and stuff. But I just play way too risky for that sort of stuff, and it's just kind of not in my nature to kind of play that way. So I don't heavily aim to play that way. If you know what I mean. Like, I'm not going to go over the top. Also, this is kind of fucked. We have very little ammo right now. Thank God we have this thing. I might still die, though, I'll be honest. I'm going to die, though, I'll be honest. This is a little sketch. 
Oh my god, how am I still alive? Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you know, that, that was completely, completely understandable. I, I don't physically understand how I lived for that long. There was so much going on. And yeah, this hangover just is not helping whatsoever. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time comprehending how to play this game properly. I don't remember anything. Pick up that. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. But yeah, I'm gonna say, like, I think I think one of the merits of this series is it's short episodes, it's it's a fun little sort of John. It's just a a little a little thing that we just do and we 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 have fun with really the the weaponry that we get to showcase each episode and some of the weird combos. I think that's kind of the, the big thing for me. Cheek pouch is always fun early on. Uh, would be nice to grab a different... Doesn't matter. I was going to say grab a different gun, but didn't quite get that far. This thing starts with such little ammo. Okay, good. Let's go pick that bad boy up. I don't know what's going on with these first stages. It's been so bad for rads at the minute as well. I'm getting rad blocked. Like, you should really be getting first level on the first stage pretty much every time. Or at least I think so. We will get it on this stage, at least. Because of that bad boy there. Lovely. In we go. Um, hit scan and piercing. Additional pierces. Um... Missing Link added Toxic Explosion. Damn, that sounds good. I'm gonna go with that. I like I like Toxic builds. Toxic builds are fun. When you have this thing that makes it all flow away from you. Pretty good stuff. If we can build up onto that and make it an even better Toxic build, that'd be so cool. Toxic builds just are so hard to make work. But they're really fun. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Flaming shots. Chance to duplicate is probably going to be a pretty good one for us, I'll be honest. Yeah, these early bits, though, the shotgun's going to be more than okay for taking out some of these easy enemies. Got the jumpy boy over here. Grabbing um, the long arms at some point would be great as well, though, for that hit scan and piercing. That's two very, very good benefits in one. I realise that you're trying to fight me, boss, and I realise that I'm ignoring you, but just leave me to it for now, okay? I think, I think this, yeah, as you were saying, I think the poison is going to absolutely demolish this guy. It very much did. What we got up here? Fire poker. No thank you. This is a good setup. This is a good setup. Right. Projectiles flash. Hell yes. Acid rain runoff. I never know what this one is. This is the one where it's got the little room full of, uh, Full of dudes. Oh god, the flak bullets create a lot of extra poison. Do you know what? I just realized something. Don't use poison here. It's a very bad idea. <laughs> it turns the friggin' frog's gear, as Alex Jones would say. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find that hilarious. Like, not, not just that quote, but just... <laughs> the sentiment that them being touched by poison turns them gear. <laughs> Anyways, come over here, you fabulous beast. Oh, you bastard. Right, is that it? That That's it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Scrap metal. Robots in disguise. Yeah, so, let's not talk about that. Um, 
something that we have learned. For one, obviously, poison still hurts us. For two, don't grab flak plus poison explosions. The flak shots will bounce towards you and kill you. We have learned that. What one thing I think that the that they like with toxic weapons in general that they should do. Obviously, they're never going to do this now that the game's this old. But one thing that would significantly improve how usable toxic is in, in weapons is just make toxic damage way less lethal. Like, it needs to tick the damage so much slower than it currently does. Like, you stand in toxic for 0.1 of a second and you're fucking dead. It needs to tick damage, like, one at a time slowly. Not just, like, do one damage every frame that you're in it. It's just absurd. We got an invisible guy. I think we got an invisible guy. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Seeker shots. It's just fun to be able to stack up all these random modifiers for weapons that I'm not currently using. And make them sort of try and make them all work with this one gun. It's a really fun way to play, or at least for now it is. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, this is kind of a tricky situation I put myself in here, so let's uh, be a little standoffish here. <laughs> I always love it when he gets trapped near that skull, because he just can't do anything to you. Good, good. Low on HP a little here. I'm taking the toxic explosions again. I know I said I wouldn't, but I'm, I'm doing it. And I realize I've only got two HP. Again, don't use it in this area. It's pointless. There's the HP that I need. Up to max. Good, good. I love the starting weapon as well. The starting weapon is so good. Ooh. IDPD grenade launcher. Go on, let's do that. Okay. Ah, there was ammo there. Shit. Pickups last longer. Why not? Okay, good. Scrap metal. Yeah, this, this thing rocks. I love using this thing. The fact that it not only does explosions that you're immune to, but it also destroys walls too is just incredible. And it, they're not real explosions too, so they're not even creating toxic. So we're safe to use it outside of our uh, missing link build. Which is pretty incredible for us. Assault slugger there. Running a little low on ammo, but that's... Not a huge problem for us. Not a huge problem at all. Nuking everything. Oh, I always forget he does that. Always forget. Right. Get rid of all that. Destroy that saw blade. Hope to get some ammo from it. Indeed we did. Okay. And that one as well. Again, hope to get ammo from it, and indeed we did. I don't wait. Oh no. Okay, I might have just killed myself. Yeah, you bastard. That's really upsetting. So I don't know if you caught onto what happened there, but that IDPD grenade launcher can't destroy the teleporter thing. So I got myself killed. Anyways, we'll leave it there for now. I know it's a short episode, but like I said, that, uh, that's one thing I like about this series. I do apologize about this slightly hungover and very chilled episode, but that's kind of the intention anyways. And I wanted to make sure you guys know I didn't want to leave it today because I'd already skipped a week last week. So I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.